Sometimes we laugh and sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Babe gang, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michali Nobavu, aka Molly Babe. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning back in, guys. So, a few days ago, I received a package. This is the package right here. So, remember, I told you guys that I was going to be working with a brand. So yeah, they finally sent me the package today and the brand is Skims, guys. I am working with Skims. I am so excited. This is literally my first brand collaboration of the year. So I just wanted to unbox this package in front of you guys, you see. Um, yeah, I am literally so excited, guys. I literally never thought that I'd be working with Skims. And I'm so happy that they gave me like this particular clothing item because I am not comfortable with revealing clothes. So I'm so happy that I got this particular item. I want to show you guys what it is in a few. This is the packaging. Super, super keen. I'm sure you guys can tell that I literally just did my hair. I did my hair, I think, two days after my package arrived because I was so excited. I was like, you know what? Let me do my hair. So, yeah, this is what they gave me. This is, yeah, Sabu Rumpa whatever like jumpsuit thingy thingy i don't know <laughs> but i literally love this so much it is so cute the material feels so good i just hope it looks good on me because I, I actually went on the skims instagram profile and i actually i think i also looked up like tiktokers who had campaigns with skims just to get like creative ideas you know and i realized that every single person i've seen wearing skims looks so good they look snatched so i hope this does my body justice as well i literally like i've been eating so healthy the past few days because I, I realized that i'm bloating so i just wanted it to go a bit down you know i think i'm good to go um i'm not exactly sure when i'm gonna shoot i was thinking maybe tomorrow you know before my hairstyle gets old because you guys know ponytail ugh, mm -mm. so i'm thinking i shoot tomorrow but i'm not sure because i haven't exactly found a location i was going through the brief and they told me like somewhere where it's outdoorsy or if you're going to be indoors make sure like you have a neutral background so i'm still brainstorming some ideas but yeah this is the clothing item and i'm literally so excited i got this um in size extra small ne? yeah I, yeah i literally got an extra small i just hope it's gonna fit but I don't see why it shouldn't. I thought maybe like let me get extra extra small. But I was like mm -mm, that's a risk. Because what if I gain weight sometime this year. And then I don't fit into it anymore. So yeah. So yeah that's the big announcement. That is the brand that I'm collaborating with. Literally so excited guys. I never thought I'd see the day. You know, like when you put so much work into like literally anything and you don't see results, like you get discouraged because I literally started posting fashion content, I think beginning of last year, but I was not really like consistent, you know, and then towards the end of last year, I started posting more and more. And that's when I realized that, okay, things are starting to look up because brands would reach out to me and just keep in mind that it's not only brands that were reaching out to me i was also reaching out so that helped me like put my name out there also so brands were reaching out to me brands were like excited to work with me because they noticed that i've been putting in the work and you know i was choosing quality over quantity more than anything so yeah i worked with a couple of brands last year 
but this year it's been pretty quiet um i don't know why no brand has reached out to me this year except for skims so skims is literally the first brand that i'm going to be working with anyway today i was thinking of checking out a cafe um you know i, I was on tiktok i was scrolling through you know spots in pretoria like what to do in pretoria and i saw this really cute cafe called plateau coffee i'm not sure if you guys know it but apparently a new one opened in pretoria like there was already a plateau coffee in kronkloff i think but then a new plateau coffee spot recently opened up so i think i'm going to go check that out today but before i head out i just want to paint my nails because as you guys can see my nails are not done so i just wanted to paint my nails and i got this particular um nail polish color and i thought that it was going to match you know the clothing item that i got from skims but it's not exactly a match you know um the jumpsuit rump or whatever it is it's a bit darker and the nail polish i got is you know a lot lighter like a lighter green like a lighter shade of green but i think i can make it work let me show you guys So this is the nail polish color. I'm just going to apply it quickly before I head out because I don't like, you know, going out with bare, bare, bare nails. But yeah, I hope you guys have been good. I hope you guys have been well since I last checked up on you in the last vlog. You know, I've had a very hectic week. I'm not going to lie. This week was just so tiring. It was so hectic academically as well so i think it was i'm not exactly sure which day this week it was because yeah i've been so busy but i got invited to some influencer games night yo guys fine so this influencer agency reached out to me and i've been following them for quite some time um i think maybe like two months now if not like a month and a half i've been following them and i really liked what they were doing you know like on their socials you know like they were putting on new creative um influences you know so i was like okay i like what i see so when they reached out to me i was actually like really really excited i was so keen they told me okay there's an influencer games night come through dun, dun, dun. so i was like okay let me just see what this is about you know like it can never hurt putting yourself out there because if it were up to me like i would have just stayed at home and not went but i was like you know what let me just meet new people let me get out there fine so they told me it was going to be at i don't remember this spot but it's like a arcade kind of spot in mendlin i think so yeah they sent me the location and everything fine on the day of the influencer games night they sent me a dm saying that i have to wear green my team is green guys they literally told me on the day i was like hey, well, why would you guys tell me on the day of the games night that i have to wear green what if i don't have green clothing items in my wardrobe so i looked through my wardrobe and i was actually kind of panicking because i didn't have anything green but i ended up just wearing this other white vest that i have that has like some green in it but i was like i hey, well, these people why did they tell me literally on the day that was quite like unprofessional and that should have been like the first sign but uh, uh, things are just gonna be yeah weird so i got there it started at six but i got there at i think half past six if i'm not mistaken i got there half past six um i was welcomed by the host okay which was like a good sign she welcomed me she was like hi how are you oh you look so good thank you so much for coming through i was like okay thank you so much for having me she seemed very friendly she was polite and then i met the other influencers who were already at the arcade and then they just divided us into teams they're like okay your green team your blue team your black team etc and then i think we we're by the bowling alley and we had to play against each other and yeah and then after that we went to i'm not sure what the game is called but i'm gonna attach some videos so you guys can get like a good idea of how exactly it went because i was actually filming and i wasn't sure if i wanted to post the footage but it's whatever so when I got there, I was literally like so hungry because I left without eating. I left in a hurry because it took me so long to get ready because, you know, my week has been hectic and I've had a lot on my plate. But I was like, you know what? I already agreed to come to this. Let me pull through. Let me get ready. So I left the house in a rush. I did not eat anything at all. And I was so thirsty when I got there. I thought the host was going to be like, okay, 
um, here's the bar or here are your complimentary drinks, whatnot. I did not get anything. She never said anything to me about food, about drinks, nothing. So this other influencer was eating something and then this other girl asked her, where did you get this? And then she was like, oh, there's a table over there with some pizza, whatnot. So we went to the table and I will, guys, is that pizza they look like they look like crackers i'm not even joking like the pizzas were this thin like the like the pizza slices were this thin i was like are you joking like or what i thought it was a joke honestly but it's whatever i took a slice of pizza um i ate it it was so underwhelming they got those really ugly flavors i don't know if it's because they were cheaper or that or they actually like them i don't know but they got as our flavor man ziwiki mozzarella i think that's how you say it i'm quite sure i was like what the hell is this now are you guys serious fine an hour passes mind you we've been playing games nobody has offered me a drink and honestly that should have been my sign to leave and yeah the host she kept on checking up on us but she wasn't saying anything about refreshments nothing whatsoever so the other girl said that she was thirsty and she went near the bar and they told her that we should have ordered drinks when we arrived because now the time for free drinks is over it's up i was like what this was never communicated to us like why didn't the host tell us that okay there is the bar you guys can get free drinks up until a certain time that was never communicated to us at all so that was very disappointing and then the bar like the guy at the bar had the nerve to ask us if we wanted tap water the other girl said yes and she drank it but i was like are you serious oh tap, tap water guys not even juice are you guys serious i was so 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 disappointed they worked us like dogs game after game after game it was actually ridiculous and then the host came up to me because i think she saw that i was like in a very weird mood wendy Bosa, are you okay is everything going good obviously i lied just because i didn't want to ruin her day maybe she spent a lot of time planning it and things didn't go as she planned and i didn't want to you know bring down her mood so i was like yeah thank you so much for inviting me i'm having a wonderful time this is so different it's so refreshing but obviously i was just lying because what the hell was that fine eventually i just left nobody saw me out i had to ask the security but okay where can i go if i want to uber like where where will the uber pick me up yeah i left the host didn't even say bye or anything there was no closing but okay guys thank you for coming whatnot none of that it was so unprofessional it was so informal and it was so ghetto like it was the most ghetto thing ever and guys i've been to influencer events and they usually don't go anything like that so I was really disappointed. I'm not going to mention the, the agency's name. But if they host anything ever again, I'm just not going to go because what the hell was that? And then, yeah, so that was that was my week, basically. Okay, this color is actually not bad. It's actually cute. I'm just going to paint like a second coat after the side dries. So besides the influencer event, I didn't actually get up to much this week. I was just, you know, running errands, etc. Been busy with school. So yeah, these are my nails. I'm going to check in with you guys when I get to Plateau because I don't want to run late. You know, I don't want to leave the house too late because I want to come back and study as well. So I'm just going to paint the second coat like literally after these ones dry and then i'm gonna go to plateau straight after so i'll check in with you guys when i get there bye so i just got back from plateau coffee and honestly 10 out of 10 literally 10 out of 10 guys everything was spot on the aesthetics the food the coffee the service literally i've never been to a coffee spot 
where the service was that great i mean i even got a free coffee <laughs> i got a free coffee i got a free treat and guys like i went there alone yeah? but it didn't feel like i was alone at all the staff was so welcoming they were so polite they were so yeah they were just friendly overall like we spoke for hours i ended up staying longer than i should have because i was having such a great time i'm actually gonna like put the location of the plateau coffee that i went to because i don't remember where it was exactly but if you guys want to like go to a spot where you know it's peaceful the service is good you know just a spot to like chill on a sunday or even like somewhere to study you know because it's very quiet and they actually also have wi-fi so you can also study there but overall it was just amazing and they even have like an outside area i'm sure you guys saw from the video so even if you like a large group of people like you have a large group of friends and you guys want to go there and grab something or take content actually you can actually you know chill by the tables outside so yeah guys i was very impressed i think i'm actually going to go shoot my content there for skims tomorrow because it is so clean like the aesthetics are out of this world i think i'm gonna go shoot there and i actually showed my friend pictures from the plateau cafe and she also said that i should go shoot there so yeah and i think it's gonna go in with the aesthetic that i want because as i was reading the brief i think i told you guys that they recommended like a coffee spot like coffee run type of vibe so i think that's where i should shoot my content but yeah i'm gonna study now so good night i'll see you guys tomorrow bye hey molly babe gang welcome to day two of the vlog so this is the outfit for the day this is what i'm gonna wear to the skims shoot guys i'm literally obsessed with this romper o m g like look at the material kim are you for real guys i'm so obsessed i love this so much by the way if i look hungry <laughs> that's because i did not eat this morning i wanted to look snatched i wanted to make sure so yeah this is the final outfit of the day decided to wear this romper with white shoes because they wanted me to wear white sneakers i'm not sure if you guys can see the shoes from that angle but yeah this is the final look guys i am so in love with this set so my cousin is on his way now we're gonna go to plateau coffee to shoot the content and i guess i'll check in with you guys later it's a bit chilly today so i don't know how that's gonna work out it's really really cold outside uh yeah i think i should bring a jacket i think i should bring a jacket just in case i get cold because i'm literally somebody who always gets cold like i always get chicken skin so i'm gonna bring a jacket just in case but yeah this is the final look <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> 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 I just got back to my place and guys the pictures we took i'm actually so excited to show you guys i'm gonna link my tiktok and my instagram down below in the description box so if you guys are keen to see how the content turned out then just go to my social media platforms and check that out so i actually got some uber eats when i got back i ordered from this other local restaurant because i feel like whenever i order from these big food companies my food always comes looking like crap i feel like because so many people are ordering, they just don't give a damn anymore. I ordered from my fast food regular restaurant a few days ago. And the food that came, it looked like, guys, it looked like something I wouldn't even give my dog. Well, I don't have a dog. The dog that I had that passed away. It was just terrible. So I feel like these local restaurants, they really do try, you know. And this was so good. And this was literally only like, I think 38 rand. So yeah, that's me for today. I'm going to end this segment of the vlog now and check in with you guys tomorrow. So bye. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day three, I think, of the vlog. I just woke up. I actually have quite a lot to do today. I'm not sure if I actually even want to do it. I'm thinking of going back to sleep. But at the same time, I have so much to do. 
I actually have to run errands and go get some food because I've actually run out of groceries. You know, I buy my groceries weekly because I feel like if you're staying alone, there's no point in buying groceries for the entire month because they run out very quickly. So, yeah, let me let me get up and get things done. I'm outside in an AMG, right outside, TT. Two turn, baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. So I just got back from the shops. Um, I think I'm gonna rest now. I'm sure you guys can tell that. I'm already back in bed. <laughs> well, guys, I am so over this week. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a nap and then I'm gonna get up and catch up on my schoolwork because I'm actually behind, like I said. And luckily, I don't have classes tomorrow. I don't have classes on Mondays. So I only have to be on campus on Tuesday. But I still wanna catch up on some work so that when I do have to go back to class, I'm not too behind. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. Yeah. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So I'll catch up with you guys on the next vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was, you know, interesting as can be. Thank you so much for watching. And if you loved this vlog, please do subscribe if you want to see more content like this.